Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be talking about the Zycel Zywall USG 20W firewall. And what we're going to do today is connect the wireless network and the local area network, the wired network, so that they're on the same network and they can communicate. So, if you've noticed, I, I've minimized all my widgets, so, because um, I don't really want to display all my secrets to, to everybody. So, the first thing you want to do is go into configuration. Okay, and make sure interface is highlighted. And then you're going to go to bridge. And as you can see, I've already created one, so you're going to click add. I'm just going to click edit so I can show you what I did. So, what you want to do is click show advanced settings. Make sure you check the checkbox to enable the interface. Um, for the interface type, you can leave it on general. Now I cannot rename it here, but you're going to go ahead and name yours BR1 for bridge 1. And the zone is going to be LAN1. Okay. And then just a short description here. Uh, wireless LAN to local area network one bridge. Okay, and out of your available pool, you're going to select WLAN or whatever wireless network you want to to be bridged. And then my local area network or whatever um, local area network you want to be bridged. So you can add more, but for now we're just going to create one for the wireless and the wired network. So if you scroll down, we are going to use a fixed IP address. And the one I've chosen for this tutorial is 192.168.100.1. And the subnet mask is a class C, 255.255.255.0. And we're going to go ahead and uh, leave these as default under DHCP settings you're gonna go and select DHCP server and the pool start um, I've started it at 33 because it's nice and high away from my um, default gateway and the pool size I just made 200 um, for your first DNS server make sure you choose Zywall so it'll check to see if um, network traffic is is connected to the Zywall before it um, searches um, external networks. Okay, so if you've got all that, everything looks good. Go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to hit Cancel because I've already done this. Okay, and what's going to happen here is um, your network is kind of going to freeze, okay? And you're you're not going to be able to do anything else. You're going to have to close out this browser and you're going to have to obtain a new IP address from your Zywall. So, the easiest way to do that is to bring up your command prompt and do IP config forward slash release and then after it releases give it a few seconds and then forward slash renew and then it's going to get you a new IP address and then we're going to do IP config forward slash all and then what you're going to do is you're going to look for your network adapter and you're going to look right here and you see um, the gateway has changed okay it'll change to this new dot 100 dot one and up here you're gonna get an IP address in this in the subnet okay so that's how you can tell that it worked also your little um, internet icon in the bottom right of your window screen will let you know that it worked okay so uh, log back into your router and then we'll continue on uh, with the
this tutorial. So what we're going to do is go down to your objects and we're going to choose address and here you're going to click add and for the name just go ahead and name it bridge and for the address type we're going to use interface subnet and the interface is going to be the BR1 which is the bridge that we just used or that we just created go ahead and hit OK I'm not gonna because I've already created it here's mine right here okay and then the last thing we're gonna do is set up a network policy so you're gonna click the network um, expand the network tab we're gonna go to routing and right here you're gonna click add and then you're gonna have this nice little menu pop up so what we're gonna do is make sure this is enabled um, you don't have to put a name here if you don't want to I left mine blank and then for the source address you're gonna to wanna to make sure you choose bridge um, for incoming you can leave it on any excluding Zywall that's fine for the service make sure that this is left on any that way it's not going to filter traffic for you and under type where it says auto you're going to go ahead and change it to trunk and I'm going to leave the system default when trunk so what's going to happen is um, the two networks can communicate with each other but if they need to go out to the internet to search say a web page or anything well the next hop is going to be the WAN interface which is your wide area network or the internet okay so if you look down here you want to make sure that your source network address translation is set to outgoing dash interface okay and if the, everything looks good there go ahead and hit OK I already did so I'm just going to hit cancel and that's all there is to it now your traffic is going to um, either stay between your local area network or your wireless network and if it needs to it's going to go out to the internet so anyway if you guys have any questions let me know um, and I do want to just to verify that you can that this has worked go ahead and ping and ping say your laptop or your wireless device or in my case I have a network attached storage server I believe it's 34 see so I'm getting replies back so it just verifies that this has worked anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped thanks